guys. Do you know that's like the number one thing people say on YouTube to start a show? Hey guys! No, no. I don't know you. I might know you, but... I will use my standard... Excuse me, greeting. Hey, hey, what's happening? This is the Ramen Raider coming at you with another show of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles today. Mm. The last one was good. Let's see how this one's gonna be. Woo-wee! Huzzle! Chicken fryer. From Vita Food Group. Yeah, I'm excited. The last one was really good. It was the menudo and it was really good. So, this one's chicken. They're made in Vietnam, and I see this, and I'm like, this looks familiar. This looks like, it could be this company, it could be that company, but this, yeah. I really like everything about the packaging and design of these bowls, I gotta say that. It doesn't go into my review score, but I gotta say, these things are an absolute joy to work with, seriously. The bowls, the label on the side, I can just go eh, 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 and go ring, 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 lay it flat, scan it, booyah. I have complained in the past about companies using uh, shiny labels. I hate shiny labels. These are the right finish to them that makes it easy to scan. It really doesn't matter if it's easy enough to scan. Smells good. Let me see. This one's probably gonna have a lot more, a lot of cumin in it too. We'll see. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. We'll give it a try. Guy, you know what I was watching last night it was Taxi, and then what comes on? The Bob Newhart show. I'm in frickin' heaven, guys. I'm like old fart territory these days. I love that old TV. I can't, I can't handle the new stuff. What was it? Reno 911? I can't remember. It was the one with the dude who used to be on Saturday Night Live, and it was just like a lot of action cam, and it's just like, oh my god, make it stop. I just couldn't take it. Couldn't take it. And I, I like started watching. Oh yeah. God, what was his name? Uh, I can't remember. Anyway. Andy Sandberg. He is funny. Like Taco Town. Forget about it. That, that was great. That was a good sketch. Although, who knows if he wrote it but they probably didn't. I don't know if he does any writing, but either way, funny stuff, enjoyable and good. Should be like the name of a burger. Funny stuff, enjoyable and good. Let's do another quote out of the book, Momofuku Ando Speaks, there are quotations from the guy who invented the instant noodle way back in 1958. Number 25. Funny, noodle, burger, and good. No, actually, number 25. New technologies should be protected by intellectual property rights, such as trademarks and patents. Okay. When I come out with my new technology, I will. That's always been a thing about the ramen rater. Eventually, I will get that name trademarked. And you can do stuff like that fairly cheaply. You have to provide some kind of proof that you are that and that is yours and there's really nobody competing for it. And there really isn't. It just means that if somebody uses it on their packaging without my permission, I can just like go after them and be like, hey, look, supposedly. I don't think that works well in a lot of countries, but yeah. I don't know. It'd be neat to put a little circle with a TM and mean it. 
I would like that. I would like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking T-Mobile, they trademarked the color magenta. They own the rights to a freaking color. I don't think you can get magenta in a box of Crayolas anymore, can ya? I think, I think that pretty much solved that issue. It's a good color too. It's one of the ones that... Okay, I'm gonna nerd out on you about crayons now. I hope you're ready. Um, there's a couple of, there's scarlet, red orange, and orange red. Those three might as well be uh, pastels. The vehicle that they use for that stuff is just like so goopy and funky that you can just like layer it up really thick, really quick. Uh, what I used to do is I would light crayons on fire, the uh, outer wrapper. And it'll stay lit with a tiny little flame for a good long time. And then I would do art that way. Uh, I'd usually do a couple washes of uh, color and then I'd do that. Another thing I would do is I'd get like sketch vellum, but like heavy bond, heavyweight, and uh, do, do some layers of crayon and then use like a dental tool and like scrape it out like that and do some designs. Actually, oh, that fell down and broke. Oh, there's one over there, but yeah, whatever. But yeah. Someday I will get back to my craft that is not noodles. And I will do that. And it will do me, and it will be nice. But currently my craft is noodles and children. So. Sneaky little children. I really thought I'd... It's got to be dumping rain out there. There's no way it's that dark and not dumping rain. Maybe I'll take you outside in a minute. You want to go outside? Huh? I'll go outside? Yeah? I'll take you outside. Sure. I'd love to go outside with you. Why don't we go together? Am I getting creepy? Yeah? It's all right. I do that to my wife sometimes. She's like, well, yeah, but, but, and I'm like, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> and she gives me this look like she's gonna like hit me in the head with a hammer and leave me on the side of the road or something. She's threatened that before, but she never would. It's a lot like the uh, Menudo one, honestly, except this one has a much brighter flavor to it. A little different angle of heat. This basically just feels red. And red, cumin-y, cayenne -y. Yeah, it's, it's good. I like this one too. I am very, 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 very impressed And happy. So, kudos to you, Vita Food Group. You made something I like quite a bit. That doesn't happen every day. But on this day, it did. Let's load it on! So I shredded up some chicken. It's gonna go right here. This was baked with uh, Goya adobo 
I think it's the coriander and something. Try to add some color to this chicken because it's pretty stark. Oh, it's a somewhat well ish. So my recipe that I've been making that Mimi was eating for lunch instead of leaving it by the wayside, she's not doing it anymore. So she's back to giving her old man a coronary. Just eat your lunch, just eat it! Oh, 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 eat your lunch! Looks at me and she's like, Oh, Papa. Oh, little Papa, you. You eat your lunch, you little stinker. It's important. I make you lunch. You eat the lunch. <laughs> Is everything all right out there? And Mimi said, Yes. Excellent, thank you. There's some onion. Oh, Let's do some of this basil. Wow. Oh my god, it's molding. He's freaking god. See, this piece isn't so bad. This one's all right. But yeah, this I got this yesterday at the grocery store. Now, let's see, what's the date on it? Is it my bad? Uh, it's their bad. There's no date on it? Oh, wait, I think my wife mentioned something about the date on it. But yeah, there was like a, there's a piece in there that's like moldy. That's so freaking gross. Come on. Like, I see you guys chatting with people in the produce department. Maybe you should be doing your freaking job, making sure I'm not bringing home moldy basil. That's, that's like, they charge way too much for stuff at Safeway, by the way. I am in contempt of Safeway. But I digress. I shouldn't say bad things about the grocery store that I have to frequent because it's nearby me. Let's see. I never really worked much with Serrano peppers, but these worked out really well. out there. I don't know what else to do. What else am I to do? I could put an egg on top and it sucks because all I've got is marinated egg and I just really don't think marinated egg is gonna work well with this. So I'm gonna call it good and I'm really happy with this and good for you V. 
Vita Foods, or Vita Food Group. It's a good food group, that's for sure. Now I'm curious about all the other foods. Do you need to go forward just a little? You did, I got it right. Well, let's see if we can find something a little peppier. Like, peppier. Like, no. Yeah. over at Vita Food Group for shooting this over. This is really good stuff. I'm impressed. Way to go. And yeah, I can't, if you guys are going to come out with more stuff, I can't wait to see what it is. So keep it going. Make it happen. And Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.